Well, I just want to welcome everyone here to Embrace at all five of our campuses. My name is Adam. I'm one of the pastors here, and as always, we're thrilled that you're here. Well, today we're in the third and final week of a series simply called Fresh Start. And why this series? Because each year at this time, each January, it just kind of feels like we're given a fresh start to life in general. It just kind of feels like we're given a new beginning, and the possibilities are endless, and truly anything can happen in the year to come. Once more, it just kind of feels like... Like we're given a fresh start. Now, looking into 2016, it's hard to believe that we're a month in already, isn't it? That's just completely crazy. Time flies when you're freezing your butt off or something. Uh, no, but looking into the new year, as we've been saying, I know for myself, when it comes to my own life, there are so many different places that I could really use a fresh start in. From the goals that I have to my outlook on things. And week one, we talked about needing a fresh start when it comes to our attitude. And then last week, we talked about needing a fresh start when it comes to our actions. Again, there are so many different places that I could really use a fresh start. But for our final week of the series, one of the places that I need a fresh start the most is when it comes to God and my relationship with with him. When it comes to him, my relationship with Jesus. I mean, believe it or not, your pastor is not a perfect Jesus fouling saint. And I know that's very hard to believe, but trust me on this one. It's like so often I am all over the place in my walk and my relationship with God. One moment it's like, Lord, I'll sell my house for you if my wife lets me, of course, and I'll spend at least at least 25 hours a day reading the Bible, and I'll try to never speed or cut anyone off in traffic ever again. But then the very next moment, it's like, yeah, God, I'm just not really feeling this anymore. And I was just joking about the house, but you're in luck. You can borrow my Chevy Aveo anytime you want to borrow it. Don't worry about the check engine light. It's just a suggestion. And, and Jesus, there's only 24 hours a day, and so 25 isn't possible, but you can have 25 seconds. And Lord, have you seen drivers lately? They are crazy. Cray cray. You know, you know, it's like, seriously, did I just say cray cray? I apologize. But honestly, when I'm looking at my, my own walk and relationship with Jesus, so often I'm all over the place. I'm hot and then I'm cold. I'm yes and then I'm no, kind of like Katy Perry. And I'm, I'm fired up about Jesus and then I'm not. And I spend time with him and then I haven't talked with him in weeks. And I want to become more like him. And then I really just want to do my own thing again when I'm being honest. One of the places that I so often need a fresh start the most is when it comes to God and my relationship with him. And in the Old Testament, there's a book called Lamentations, and just being up front, it's a bit of a depressing book to read. I mean, the whole book is about grief and despair. And so if you're ever having a rough day, maybe pick a different book of the Bible to read. Uh, I won't go into a history lesson, but here's, here's the long story short. The people of God were completely unfaithful to God. They were all over the place in their relationship with him, and they said they believed in him and that they loved him, but their lives were a completely different story, and as a result, their city ends up being destroyed. It's overtaken, and they're kicked out of their own town. Basically, they've had a bad day, and life is rough, and now they're at this place, and they're completely unsure of where they stand with God, good, bad, or otherwise. And they're unsure of if God wants anything to do with them and does God still love them. And in many ways, they're unsure of whether or not God will give them yet another chance. And when it comes to the Lord, they're wondering if a fresh start is possible for them. Now, as I just said, in my own life, in my own walk with the Lord, on any given day, I'm all over the place myself. And I say one thing to God while doing another. And as a result, I often find myself wondering similar things, just wondering where I stand with God, and if he wants anything to do with me. And I'm just guessing that some of us are here, and when it comes to God, maybe we just feel like we're stuck in a rut, and we don't really feel anything, and we're just going through the motions, or we're unsure of where we stand with God ourselves. Or maybe we're here, and for whatever reason, we feel distant from God, and we're truly questioning, when we're being honest, we question his goodness and his faithfulness. Or maybe we're here and we grew up in church and we were baptized and confirmed and and God just feels irrelevant from our lives. It's like we graduated from God years ago and we haven't connected with him since. Or maybe we're here and because we've screwed up, because we're living two completely different lives or because our life is a mess, we feel like we can't approach God and he's probably just upset with us and we've ran out of chances with him and I mean, does God still love us? Again, I'm just guessing that for so many different reasons, either right now or at some point in the past, we ourselves have just been unsure of where we stand with God and we wonder if a fresh start is possible for us. 
Well, now going back to Lamentations, something I don't say very often, going back to Lamentations, again, the people have just lost everything and it's not a pretty situation whatsoever and it's all doom and gloom and they're broken and they're completely unsure of where they stand with God. I mean, we've screwed up and we were unfaithful and does God even love us anymore and is a fresh start possible for us? And then in chapter three, in response to them, listen to what it says. It says that the steadfast love of the Lord, it never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Instead, they are new every morning and great is your faithfulness. Again, and they're unsure of where they are with God and they're, they're questioning him and they're questioning him themselves. And in the very midst of these feelings, God just makes it known that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. It never runs out his mercies, basically God's kindness and his compassion. They never come to an end. Instead, they are new. And this word can also translate to the word fresh. God's love and his kindness, they are new and they are fresh every single morning. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. Powerful verses, right? It's like God says this and then does a mic drop or something. It's, it's powerful and it almost feels like we could close the message now and pray. But I just want to highlight a couple of different things for us. I just want to mention a couple of things. And the, and, and the first thing is this. Even when it doesn't feel like it, a fresh start is possible. Again, even when it doesn't feel like it or seem like it, a fresh start is possible. And I know I've already mentioned it twice now, but just to be clear that we didn't miss it, the people in Lamentations have just lost everything. I mean everything. And it was all the result of their own actions, and so they're grieving, and it feels, and it seems like all hope is gone, and rightfully so, and then God speaks these verses. Again, even when it doesn't feel like it or seem like it, a fresh start is possible. And I just want to ask... Has it ever felt or seemed like a fresh start isn't possible for us? Has it ever felt or seemed like a fresh start isn't possible in our lives? I mean, maybe we're 20 or 60 years old and it just feels like it's too late to change. Or maybe it's our marriage and it just feels too far gone to be fixed and it already seems to be dead. Or maybe it's our lives as a whole. And we wish we could change, we wish we could be a better person, we wish we could make different choices, but it just doesn't seem possible. And now the same question, but slightly different. Have you ever felt this way when it comes to God? Have you ever felt this way when it comes to the Lord? I mean, I wish I could follow Jesus, but it just feels too late. And I wish I could love the Lord like other people seem to do, but I just feel too broken. And I just feel like I don't know the Bible very well and I just, I just feel like I've made too many mistakes and it just seems like I have too many doubts. Or I've been following Jesus for years and I wish I could get out of this funk that I'm in. I'm just in a rut and I, I wish I could be more faithful in following him and I wish I could trust him more with my life, with this trial, with my struggles, with my needs. But honestly, that just doesn't seem possible. And when it comes to God, I, I wish I could have a fresh start, but my walk with him is all over the place and I just feel like a fresh start isn't possible for me. Now, I just got to quickly say here that if you're anything like myself, you give your feelings way too much credit, way too much credit. I mean, so often we take our feelings as the gospel truth, don't we? When in reality, our feelings lie to us all of the time. I mean, our feelings are constantly changing. They're up and then they're down and it's squirrel, right? I mean, they're, they're, it's crazy. Based off our feelings, we are all certifiably crazy. You are nuts. I, I, I hate to tell you, you're nuts. And, and, and so am I. And in knowing this, when I see quotes like, trust your feelings and go with what you feel, all I can think is that that is the worst advice I've ever heard in my life. One more time, these people in Lamentations have lost everything because of their own mistakes. And they're unsure of where they are with God and it feels and it seems like they're doomed and rightfully so. And then God speaks up and shares the truth that the steadfast love of the Lord, it never ceases. It, it, it never runs out. Regardless of what we feel, regardless of what it seems like, his mercies, they never come to an end. Instead, they are new and they are fresh every single morning. Again, even when it doesn't feel like it, a fresh start is possible. Now, I know for myself, I first came to understand the power of this truth in high school. And I've shared this part of my story before, but my family grew up in the church, and from a young age, I struggled with all of it. I mean, 
every part of it. There wasn't a part that I didn't struggle. I had to struggle with all of it. I can remember in, in middle school mocking the pastor as we recited liturgy, which didn't please my mom very much. And I, I just thought it was all made up and, and everyone was bored out of their minds and out of sheer obligation for some crazy reason. We didn't sleep in. We got up and we went to church. It just didn't make sense to me. And as a freshman in high school, I began to become more vocal about my feelings, telling my, my parents and my friends that I didn't believe in God and I thought Christians were idiots and I could not wait until college because then I'd be able to make decisions for myself and God and church would never be a part of it again. Well, around my sophomore, junior year in high school, my family switched churches and a group of guys and a group of cute girls got me to go with them to youth group. God will use anything to bring you back to him. And, and God just began to work in my life and he was, he was changing me from the inside out and Jesus just became real to me and I began to want to follow him and I, I wanted God in my life but I was just so sure that after being so vocal about things that it, it would be impossible for me to have a second chance. I just thought my wrongs were so much worse than everyone else's and it just seemed and it felt like me of all people couldn't be given a fresh start thankfully though, over time. God began to make it clear that just the opposite was true once more, even when it doesn't feel like it, even when it doesn't seem like it, a fresh start is in fact possible. So that's the first thing to highlight from these verses. And then the second thing to mention is that a, a fresh start is offered to us every single day, every single day. Again, we're told that God's love and his kindness, that they are new, that they're fresh every morning. And just to be clear, in case we can't see it, it doesn't say that it's, it's new every year or it doesn't say that it's new every January, not even every month or every week or every time we get our act together or every time we decide something, but instead every single morning, every day. And that's just hard for us to comprehend, isn't it? Because in our own lives, I mean, we struggle to love people and we struggle, we struggle to extend kindness to people that we like every so often. Right? It's like every so often I struggle to love you, but especially if we've been hurt or, or wronged by someone, especially when we've been let down, we struggle to move forward and we struggle to offer a person a fresh start even weeks and sometimes years later. Sometimes we don't ever offer a person a fresh start ever again. But with God, though, it's new every single morning, every single day. And we don't deserve this, right? Which is so true, we don't. But thankfully, this offer isn't based on us and it's not based on what we do or don't do and it's not based on our timeline or our thought patterns either. Instead, it's based on God and we're told that his love and his mercies that they are new every single morning, every day. That's good stuff, isn't it? Again, a fresh start is possible every day. Now with this series, we started out with me holding a blank piece of paper and over the last few weeks, I've just been thinking a lot about the fact that on our, own, on our own, we're truly only given a blank page. We're really only given a fresh start one time in our life. That is the day that we were born, right? And from there, life happens, doesn't it? And we go through the good, bad, and otherwise, and our, our life, it gets marked up and it gets walked on, and at times it gets torn and crumpled up, and there's... There's highs and there's lows, and yes, we're maybe able to start over, and yes, we're maybe able to get a redo at things, but again, on our own, we, we really and truly only have a fresh start once, but you see, with God, it's a completely different story. I mean, yes, he allows us to start over, and he, he gives us an endless amount of redos, but hear this, he's also able to supernaturally make us new not a do-over like he's able to make us new. Not a second chance like brand new. Like a fresh start. Like a new creation. Completely new. He offers us a fresh start in the, in the fullest sense and the fullest form in ways that we can't comprehend or understand. This, this week, all week long, I'm like, I, I can't even... I just can't even picture what that looks like in my life because it just seems so foreign and if we've somehow missed it, he offers us a fresh start every, every single day to make us new, new, not a redo, brand new. Today, if we're here and we're, we're wanting a fresh start, 
when it comes to our lives as a whole, but particularly when it comes to when it comes to God and our relationship with him, it just starts by simply asking Lord Jesus today, I want a, I want a fresh start and a fresh start is only found in you. And so Lord, when it comes to my attitude, when it comes to my actions and when it comes to you, God, and my relationship with you from the inside out each day, each morning, would you make me brand new starting with today? And, and Jesus, I give you control of my life and I, I surrender all that I am before you. I mean, not just a part of me, but every part of me, God, and there's maybe been this one area that I've been holding on to for years. I started following you 10 years ago, and yet there's this one area that I still haven't sur surrendered, but today, Lord, I, I surrender it to you, or maybe for the first time, God, I just, I've done church, and I've tried to be a good person, but I've never had a relationship with you, and I long for a fresh start, and I, I surrender everything that I am to you and I want to faithfully follow you today and tomorrow and the next day and I'm not even sure what that means or what I've signed up for but God, I want to follow you and so every day I surrender to you. Today, if this is something we're praying, if we're asking the Lord into our lives or we're recommitting ourselves to him or maybe we're feeling something inside of us and we're not even really sure what it is, there's just this feeling or something go is going on within us. If that's us, before you leave, we mention it often, we'd love to connect you with a copy of the New Testament. It's just the second half of the Bible written in a way that's easy to understand. At all our physical campuses, we have stacks of them out in the entryway. Just grab one and go. There's no strings attached. We won't let you pay for one. You don't have to talk to anyone. You don't have to give us your email address. Just grab one uh, and, and go. If you're joining us on the online campus and you'd like a copy, just fill out the online communication form. Uh, mark that you want a New Testament and we'll send one to you for free as charge as well. We're just we thrilled and honored to get this into our hands. It shares about, about Jesus. It shares about Jesus and the promises found in him and it also shows us what a new life and what a, what a fresh start looks like and, and following him. We've also included a card that gives us some practical advice on, on next steps we can take. But again, we'd just be thrilled to have you grab one and, and go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, gracious God, we come before you grateful today for who you are, thankful for your faithfulness and your, your kindness and your love and, and your mercy. God, we're, we don't deserve any, any of it, and yet you extend it to us. And God, we're, we're so grateful that even when it doesn't feel like it or seem like it, you offer us a fresh start in a supernatural way that we can't even really comprehend or or understand, and we're so grateful that it's not a one-time offer and then it's off the table, or it's a one-time offer and then we make a mistake and we can't have a second. Instead, the truth is, God, you offer us a fresh start every single day, every day. If we've never done so before, we invite you into our lives, Lord. We ask that you would take over control. We surrender to you. Help us to understand your word if we open up your Psalms or the book of John and start reading, God. I just pray it would make sense to us. Lord, would you just show us the path that leads to life? We're, we're so foolish. We're, we're clueless without you. And so would you just make it so crystal clear that we couldn't miss God? If we, if we followed you in the past and have at some point walked away, Lord, we return to you. We fall on our knees before you. We're so grateful that when we come back home, you don't make us a slave. You make us sons and daughters. You throw a party for us. God, again, we thank you that a fresh start is found in you and only you. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.